Maps Introduction Blueprint maps are two important tools of geography. Both are very useful in studying the Earth's surface. Globes which are spherical in shape are the exact replica of the Earth. As the globes are of the same shape as that of the Earth, they represent the shape of the landmass and the water bodies with great accuracy. However, as the globes always show the entire Earth, these cannot be used to depict any small area. Maps become useful for this purpose. They can show the entire Earth or any part of it. Unlike globes, they can show small areas with detailed information about them, for example, a city map or a locality map. Importance of Maps Geographical maps represent the whole Earth or any part of it on paper or any flat surface. Maps provide a variety of information about any area. Thus, they are classified into various types. Maps are generally classified into three types. These are physical maps, political maps and thematic maps. Physical maps Such maps show the natural features of the earth like mountains, plains, plateaus, water bodies, etc. Political maps These show the political divisions of the earth. Countries, states, cities are marked along with their well-depicted boundaries. Thematic maps As the name suggests, the map have a specific theme or subject. They may be road maps, rainfall maps, vegetation maps, etc. Fact Blue color on a map shows water bodies while green color shows plains. The arrow which shows the north is called the north line. Types of maps The earth as a whole or any part of it cannot be drawn exactly of the same size. Secondly, as we may use the map anywhere, it is also not easy to know the correct direction of a place marked on the map. Thirdly, it would be difficult to know the exact distance between two points marked on the map. To solve these problems, each map has a scale and the direction north marked on it. Large and small scale maps Each map may be drawn of different size. Often, a book page is used to show a city but can also be used to show the world. On the basis of the size of the area drawn and the scale of the map, maps are classified into two types, namely large scale maps and small scale maps. When a large area is shown on a paper, very few details may be marked. For example, a map of the continent with the scale 1 cm is equal to 1 lakh kilometers cannot show the details of a city. Such a map is called a small scale map. On the other hand, a city map with a scale 1 cm is equal to 1 km shows a locality, colony with the detailed information like roads, schools, hospitals, etc. Such maps are called large scale maps. Plan Other than a map and a sketch, there is another large-scale representation of an extremely small area like a house or a school. Such drawings are represented according to a scale, show very minor details also. These are called plans.